So there's been all these rumors, obviously, of like Damon wants to coach, Damon wants to coach, and like how you guys have such great chemistry. Uh, obviously, we don't need any intel or anything, but I want to mm. know: Would you enjoy having Damon as your coach? Like, I feel 100%. like you guys have great chemistry. Like, where? How do you think he would help you guys? And just talk me through that a little bit. Obviously, it's been a talking point. I would love to have Damon as a coach. I mean, I think all of us would too. But I think Damon wants to coach us when he's hammered, because every single time he <laughs> gets two or three drinks in, he's like, "Dude, Bruce, I can help you with control, man." And then I'm like, "Damn, you have Damon, I'm down." And then the next day, it's like he's a ghost, bro. He's like, "Nah, fuck that shit." He's like, "I ain't waking up for this." He's shit. on rust. <laughs> I'm waking yeah, up playing Russ for sure. Yeah, nah, I would love David for sure. I mean, definitely the key because he's just like he'll, he'll just keep it real. He'll be like, "Yo, listen, like you guys are trolling here, or you guys are doing this good here." Like he wouldn't just be um, nitpicking. He'd keep it honest. You know what I mean? If something's working, yeah. if something's just you know, if something's just like a bad timing situation, or if it's like a you know one off, then he'll say that. But like the bigger picture of things, he could definitely help us out with. Um, because he's almost like a fan. Also, he wants the best for us. So you also would be like, oh, yeah. "Yo, listen, like, me, like this is the one thing we got to work on." So um, I would love him, but. That's up to Damon for sure. Um, when it comes to like uh, Damon as a coach, it sounds like you would love having somebody who, you know, is watching and stuff like that, but maybe not always after map or after a series saying something, just like when they notice something that uh, is like glaring or gl bigger picture type deal. So that, that leads me to the question of like, what would you want out of a, a coach, like ideal situation? Uh, do you think it's like needed on a team or is it something that you feel like you just you don't exactly need like you can figure out yourself um i don't know i'm kind of like on and on or on and off with a coach i mean i i wouldn't mind having a coach i mean the past mm -hmm. coaches i've had jay uh deep rick was it rick ever i don't even remember maybe rick for a little bit but yeah, no, no, no. That might cap, but yeah, Rick was out of the Rick was coach. It was Pac Man. That was one of them. Pac Man. <laughs> that was so gross. Well, you've had he'd so many like, coaches. He'd like, <laughs> yeah. he'd like cap your face. Cap. He's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, but like all the coaches I've had, like I had no, like no issues with them. But it's kind of just one of those things where I don't think it's really needed. I mean, JP, sure. what he does for our team is phenomenal i think what he does is i think he'll still tell us like situation like you guys are trolling here you guys need to like mm -hmm. you know work on this right here but then he kind of just like helps us out with you know with analytics so he'll just be like yo listen like 80 percent of the time like we get broken here 50 percent of the time we're like our, we're only holding this so it's kind of just like a, okay we got to work on this this like just the math just says it you know what i mean like the numbers say it yeah. and you can't yeah. really argue that but with the coach it's kind of unless they're playing the game every day and then they're updated with you know what's meta what's what are like the good updated strats you know just like the default um like things about like cod like you know how because every every week it's changing i don't and know every year it's a new game yeah yeah uh -huh. literally. new and stuff we gotta learn yeah. and there's like i don't know so i feel like it's it depends on the coach and but i don't really think it's needed because i feel like cod is such an in the moment decision making game like it's so situational like you can get into play a thousand different times in a certain situation and they could play out a thousand different ways you know what i mean like oh, yeah. one shot here i don't know like there's just so many like different things i can think about but well, a, co a coach can mean different things too, right? So, like, technically, yeah. like yeah. JP is is like your coach, right? It's just a different yeah, process, yeah, yeah. I guess. Go ahead, Jay. There's, like, two different ways, like, to view a coaching thing. And sometimes it works for certain players. Sometimes it doesn't. Like, when I was playing, obviously, I had Rambo Ray right next to me, which was your former coach. He's a great mind in Call of Duty. And he was just able to sharpen my gameplay with, like, stuff that he wanted to do. But now, in a different situation where other coaches, like you said, if you're not really playing the game, you don't really know all the situations. And then for a team like your team, where, like, you have, like, the movement king and Shotzi, you always nerds, have hoop yeah. moving around. You guys, you guys have yourself. so many different plays that, like, all these situations can play out completely different every single time. So it's not in the situation where the coaches are going to know the best play it's usually the players that know the best play because they're playing the game they're in the moment you know so yeah. it's good to see that you guys uh obviously all, everything that happened with you guys and your coaching staff that you guys have completely let that go you've made incredible incredible improvements process through yeah. your team improvement yeah, was, like with your roster bro and like you're one of the best hard point teams in the game if not the best so mm. continue working yeah, yeah. And it's not even one of those things where because, like, the, I know this thing was, like, oh, they just want to run around and just get kills and just, like, not have rules and just, like, basically have fun. But it's, like, bro, like, of course, like, of course we want to have, like, you know what I'm saying, like, a system and, like, what we like to do and how we like to approach things just so it's consistent. Mm -hmm. But we're not, like, restricted. Because before it felt like we were just restricted. Like, yo, like, do this or, we, like, you have to do this. You know what I mean? This is a mistake otherwise if you don't. So it's kind of yeah. one of those things where not, you're not second guessing, but you're, like, damn, like, if I do any other play, it's just going to be, like, a yo, like, watch this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, bro, this is pointless. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, almost, like, you're not allowed to make mistakes when, 
I don't believe in that. I feel like in scrims you should be able to, you know, test limits, you know, try things, you know, like try a setup, try a different, you know, like you want to push this, go for it. You want to see this hold if it works, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't be like confined to like a box almost. I felt like we were just like almost on the leash when we were playing and we couldn't yeah. like, just get creative. And I feel like that's just how the best players and the best teams just like get better, honestly. I mean, yeah, situationally like, making plays, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, just I didn't want to like obviously like again, like it's not about like oh we just want to run around. I feel like that's just like I don't know, a little fugaze, but whatever. No, I mean I mean it's clearly showing in, in the results like that you guys yeah. are, are are next level. Um for you, Brandon, is this the first time that you felt like you're kind of like free? Like where because you've always like you just said, and you just listened off all the coaches you had and stuff like that, and different teams. Is this the first time you felt sort of like um Free on the map to be creative, to be like, hey man, maybe we should try to do this, guys, and like people actually giving it their best effort. Um, nah, like I feel like I've always had that mindset, like, okay. especially for majority of my career. But um, recently, probably yeah, I'd say out of that. But okay, majority okay. of my career now, I mean, it's been usually kind of how it is now. Kind of just ru- or just play my game, and then from that point on, like we could just we kind of all all play our own games, and then obviously we know what like we want to do as a team, and then we yeah. kind of just pinpoint out little things that we could do and help each other but we don't step on because at the end of the day like if you tell someone how to play they're gonna play worse bro like it's just what yeah. it is. like even if you think yeah. it's the better play or whatever it is it's just if they're not comfortable they're getting fried bro you know how it is in cod if you're like a little bit like off in confidence and somebody else is full confident they're just gonna like feel like they're just gonna smoke your shit you're gonna run you over go ahead jay you got something yeah. So, yeah so brandon you've been 